Good morning, everybody! Welcome to episode number 10 of Dave's World. I can't believe I've actually made it to 10 episodes of this. Um, when I first started doing it, I really didn't think I would do more than just a couple. Um, but so far, the encouragement's been great and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, you join me now doing possibly one of the most boring tasks I could possibly show you, but at the same time, I think it's sort of interesting because it's a little bit different than at least where I'm from. That's right everyone, my exciting life, I am taking a bin out. <laughs> so they have these um, these containers, right, and they go deep into the ground here. And you just have to lift this up and you put in your rubbish and then you close it over. Now, that might not seem very interesting, but actually to me it was interesting because, so where I'm from over in Scotland, if you were like to walk through um, the town like late at night or in the very early morning there'd be like seagulls everywhere and they'd all be like tearing all the plastic bags apart and making a whole big mess and everything like that. Now things like these um, deep containers down here they stop that from happening and it's actually a very clever and simple solution. Anyway, <laughs> what's exciting this morning? So uh, the gym is back open I just called and they're open so right now I'm going to head on down to the gym for my first workout in about four months. Wow, that's crazy. Now, I'm going to get there in a very Dutch way. I'm going to jump on my new bicycle. Dave's World, Dave's World, music So here it is here in all its glory, my new bike, all in green. Um, so I've been living in the Netherlands for two and a half years, something like that, and I've never had a bike. I've just always walked places or jumped in a car or whatever. So um, yeah, it's really cool to finally have a bike. Okay, this goes like this. And then that unlocks the, the thing for the wheel and then we're good to go. So check the bell and we're away. And just like that, we're here. So fast on the bike. I got here in like seconds. That would have been about a 10 minute walk. It took me less than a minute, I think. So, bike's here, locked up. Gym's behind me. Let's do this. So you can see they've done, this. they've uh, separated it all out. We've got these plastic shields between all the apparatus. Uh, the guys behind there are all shielded off. You have to sanitize your hands when you come in. But yeah, cool. Good to be back. So guys, I managed to get my uh, my first workout done in four months, uh, first uh, proper workout with weights anyway, uh, it felt really nice to do something like that again. Um, so today I did like my chest and my arms and my back and tomorrow I'll come back and do my lower body and that's what I'm planning to do. I'm planning to do four days a week, upper body, lower body rest, upper body, lower be body rest and a little bit of cardio before coming back e each week. What do you guys do by the way? What, what do you guys do to keep fit? Come on guys. Right, so. Yeah, it's a bit later in the day now, it's actually it's 5pm and right now I'm just going to download this video and I'm going to upload it onto YouTube because it's one of the songs from a new album and it's yeah, part of the marketing for the album as well but I think also hopefully quite nice to watch so what should we call it? What about David McGregor? I've not started a YouTube video for a long time with David McGregor in front of it it's usually um, I don't know, something salesy, which I don't like actually. I, I like to just say what it is. So I'm going to just go for Dave McGregor plays La Belle Vie live in Rotterdam. It's marketing, right? So you've got to somehow market your music. You've got to get people to hear about you. And when you're well doing that, you still want to entertain them. You don't want to just go, buy this, you know what I mean? So. What I'm doing, this is a video that's well produced, that's uh, nice to watch hopefully and um, I'm hoping afterwards people will want to uh, find out more about me and my music. Hello everyone! Okay, it's Thursday the 2nd of July uh, now. Um, I was just kind of, I was very tied up yesterday with, uh, you know, sorting out my accounts. It's the end of the quarter so not a very exciting thing to show you guys on the video but uh, right now um, I've had an idea, I've had an, a musical idea, um, but I need a drum. I want a bongo, or like not a bongo, like a djembe. So I'm going to just go and have a little look in the city centre at a music store and see if they have anything. And I'm going to go 
on the new bike. Totally loving, by the way, absolutely loving having a bike here. It's amazing uh, the difference it makes. I didn't realize that. I've been living here for two and a half years. I've not had a bike and I've now got one and I just can't believe how quickly you can get everywhere. 10 minutes into the city center. It's normally about a 30, 40 minute walk for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm absolutely loving that. feel like a little kid again going about on my bike. It's brilliant. So I just stopped in uh, here to this place cafe because tomorrow I, I wanted to make a reservation for tomorrow for a meeting I have. And I thought, ah, oh, I'll just pop it in person. And that's when you sort of realize how old you're actually getting. Uh, 35 now. Um, when you go in and you say, oh no, no, you have to reserve online. You can't reserve in person. Like, what? <laughs> it's so much easier in person. Uh, well, that's me. I prefer things face to face uh, than uh, through uh, typing on internet or WhatsApp, things like that. You might remember in an earlier episode, I showed you guys the palace gardens. Well, right now, I'm in front of the front of the palace on my way to the music store. I just thought I would show you guys it. It's really nice. So I'll show you a better view. It's cool, right? Just down here in the city centre. I really like the city centre of The Hague. It's very pretty. Nice big trees. Key music, city centre. And it's something just like this I think I'm looking for. I'll give it a little try. So we got a drum, check it out. Now, I hope it doesn't fall on the way home. <laughs> so this is something I wanted to try out for a while. All over uh, the Netherlands, you have these uh, bike parks where you go and park your bike, a bit like a car park, a supermarket or whatever. So I'm gonna take my bike in and see what's the situation, see how it works. Cool, so we're parked up. Um, yeah, people don't seem to lock their bikes in here. Oh yeah, no, some people do, so I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna, gonna chain it up, make sure that it doesn't uh, <laughs> get stolen. And uh, now I'm gonna have a little walk around some of the shops just to have a little look around. I don't come into the town so often these days with the lockdown and all that. I'm gonna have to carry my drum around, mind you, but at least it's not heavy. Oh wow, I feel so very Dutch. I've got my basket here, and I've got my bread, and I've got my drum and my bag, and I'm cycling around. Guys, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. Look, I finally got these boxes. You might have seen in a few of the last episodes, I've been waiting for these boxes for over a week, and then I came here uh, to pick them up the other day, and they weren't here, and I was like, okay, this is kind of strange. So I just thought I would pop in, just on um, my way past there, I was just taking out some recycling, and uh, just to see, and they had them, finally. Finally, I've got these boxes in over a week, so now I've got plenty of packaging for my vinyls to send off. Sorted out, so we've got plenty of cardboard boxes here and here for sending these bad boys all over the world. Yummy! Hey guys, so yeah, it's been kind of a busy day. Um, I've had a really busy afternoon and I've been struggling to find time to work on on music. Um, this is often the case actually, you know, when you're, when you're a self-employed musician, you're basically running a small business, so it's not all, you know, playing concerts, just playing guitar, making music. You just had my dinner, by the way. That was really nice. Curry. Mm. Now, I've got 30 minutes to my next lesson, so I'm going to try and take <laughs> advantage of the time I've got. I, I just, I've not quite finished the, the, the parts that I wanted to add to this um, song, so I've got my, my outro here. section that I did a bit of work on um, the other day. Um... It's my guitar part and I need to think about what I want the arrow to play. So I'm just going to sit and work on that for a little while um, and hopefully I can get some ideas sorted out. Uh, the first thing I just straight away just completely improvised. I came up with something that might actually do it. I'll 
be fine, okay. I'm happy with that because it's an idea that I put together in the space of like one minute, basically. Um, I should record it, write it out, and there's also another part of the song I want to work on. So I'm, I'm going to just very quickly record my idea. I'm just going to plug my guitar straight in to the Apollo X4. Make sure I'm in tune. Always tune up. Time it's slowing down, so I think I was a little bit rushed. So I'm going to just do that one more time. That'll be a really nice outro, I think. That's good enough. Uh, I'm, I've got that recorded, and that just gives me. Um, gives me some audio, um, just to make sure. I always find that if I come up with an idea, best to record it, listen back, just to make sure. Um, I was originally not gonna record it and just write it out in the score, but I thought, mm, we should just make sure. So I'm happy with that, that sounds good. I'm gonna close down Luna just now, and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open Sibelius again, the, the music scoring software, and I'm gonna just write that idea out. Yeah, I like the, I like the music that you get when um, Sibelius opens when it does open, it'll open eventually. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You try to do things fast and <laughs> things just don't work. Attempt number two, open Sibelius. Hope it just opens up this time. Just close down a few extra things I had running on my uh, Mac. Go on, be good. <laughs> That's what we wanted to hear the first time. Okay, and then I can open up Strange Times. And I can add my arrow. So I've got my guitar part here. I actually need to write in some other grace notes. I realise I'm doing a grace note here and here on the one and the uh, three and the four and the six. Um, so I'm going to put those grace notes in now and then I'm going to uh, write in the arrow part. I'm going to try and get this done really fast. I've added the arrow part now as well with the, the guitar part and all my uh, slurs and everything. Let's just see if it sounds okay all played together on the MIDI. I think uh, I'm just going to make this a bit longer. Same with this. Yeah, something like that. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I have exactly five minutes to my next lesson. So I really need to get everything uh, ready now. So I'm going to just go ahead, get set up. I've got a few more lessons. And if I can later today, there's another part of the song that I want to try and get ready so that I can uh, have it all set, ready for recording on Monday coming up. Well, guys, so yeah, that's me finish my lessons for the day. Actually, my last lesson that I was just about to do got rescheduled, so I managed to finish up a bit earlier, which is nice. I'm gonna try and take advantage of that and see if I can do a little bit more work now on Strange Times. So right now, I'm, uh, what I'm doing is I'm thinking about what I want to do. Uh, the, the Eru, um, after my guitar solo in the song, is gonna come back in. And I was kind of originally just doing the... The same thing it did earlier in the song, but I was thinking it would be really cool to have some kind of cascading some kind of part like that. Um, and it goes over this chord, which is um, an F um, augmented seven, a diminished, a dominant seven, with a sharp five. So I'm just gonna write out the notes there. Uh, for that, which is, so it'll be, right, it'll be an F sharp, B flat, a D, an E. So I've got those four notes, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at, see if I can find some arpeggios. Okay, so I've got the, that 
it's kind of the like the basic arpeggio. Something like that, some kind of um, chromatic line. Uh, taking the arpeggio and then turning it into a chromatic line. So I've got my first idea written out here. I'm just going to have a listen and see what it sounds like just on the music software. So I'm not sure about that idea. I'm thinking it might be a bit boring. I was thinking more about more like a falling thing. So I think we need faster notes um, and a bigger, wider arpeggio. So this is my idea. This crazy line here. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. I'll probably need to actually play that on a guitar, um, record it and see if it works. It probably needs to slow down. It needs to slow down at the end. Maybe it's a bit over the top. But I think I'm going to finish up episode number 10 right here. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're doing fantastic. Keep in touch. Leave comments and tell me what you're up to and um, ask questions and... Give me um, requests of what you'd like to see on this or if you've got any questions about um, anything, about music, about, I don't know, the meaning of life. <laughs> um, guys, all the best. We'll speak soon. Cheers.